Hey everybody, we've got another snapshot out, and now we've got chest boats. So I'm going to show you some practical uses starting with this. So I now have a boat dock that will automatically load my items into my house. It's very simple. All you need to do is run some hoppers underneath the water, and we will, by shift-clicking, you can put things into your boat, and you'll see that they're pulled out relatively quickly. If we go inside my 1.19 house, you'll see that in... 22W12A, we have the ability to pull items in. And so by running some hoppers, we can actually cause your boat to be able to automatically load. So that's the first use I'm going to show you. So the next one is that we can use it for item sorters. So right here behind me, I've got a boat that will sort my items by putting it into hoppers. So this is an initial proof of concept I've been playing with. I think there'll be a way to make it more efficient. But you'll be able to run it over hoppers, and if I were to, say, take out some redstone here, and we were to put it in a chest like this, it will automatically start putting it into these hoppers. And these hoppers, because they're pointing at the water, if the boat comes through here, and it will, it will load them up into the boat, and then when the boat runs over the appropriate slot, it will put them in the right item sorter. So just using the typical item sorter design, if you've seen item sorters before, where we use a comparator, and we use a repeater, and we have enough items so that it only has one signal, which is 22 items, I believe, 18, 19, 20, 22. And so we can have these, and it will load them in. And so you can see now that the boat has these seven items in it. It's going to go by. And pick up some more, and when it goes over the correct one, it starts to load some of them in at a time. And so it will be a little bit slower. If you want to speed it up, what you could do is you could load it from more blocks. And so, for example, I could take um, I could take these and chain them and do multiples. But uh, this right now is just a simple setup to do one of each type. But you could put more hoppers and do more if you wanted to speed it up. But It'll just passively do it. You can put things in the chest here, and it will load them into here, and it's already done about a third of them. So so this is the other thing I wanted to show you. So there's a lot going to be a lot of new tricks in 119 that we just haven't done with boats before because there wasn't really a reason to. Now we've actually got an excuse to move boats around, and so we'll be able to do a number of tricks. So right here, what I have is a pair of dispensers that are connected to each other via redstone. And so what I've got is a pressure plate right here, let me replace it with one that's a bit more visible. So let's say we use a stone one instead of a uh, mangrove one. So all I've got is a pressure plate right here. And what happens is when it comes over the pressure plate, and this is a bad example because I need a wooden pressure plate, which is fine. So when it comes over the wooden pressure plate, oh, they're not called wood, they're called... Um, So let's use a warped pressure plate. So now, when the redstone is triggered, it will come to the next spot. And we got to do the same thing over here. So notice that you're not going to be able to use stone ones, but you'll be able to use anything that an item or other entity will own. The stone ones only work for players. And so now, you can see that it goes back and forth and back and forth. And so all we do is we have a bucket that it empties and fills. And when it comes back, it will run both of them. So by connecting the two together, it turns the other one off. And so this way, you'll be able to do more quick item sorters. So that's all I got for today. But hopefully that gives you a few ideas for some of the upcoming things we're going to be able to do in Minecraft 119 with chest boats. They're very exciting stuff. I'm excited to see what people do with them. Um, one of the things that people are already discovering is that you can do multiple hoppers underneath or above. And so because you can reach them from so many places, you can do this, and this will suck out all four and divide things equally. This might actually be useful for doing if you wanted to split items multiple ways and put some in different locations. And so you could do this, and it would give any, a very quick way to split things evenly. And so if I were to, let's say, let's say we were to do this, now, all items will go in here, but it'll go in four different directions. And so, if we wanted this one to go this direction, we could put one here and lead it that way. And so now, let's just demonstrate. So, we've got to shift right-click it, put some hoppers in, 
and you will see that some are ending up here, some are ending up here, some are ending up here, and some are ending up here. And so you can actually divide where things end up. Subscribe if you haven't. I'm going to continue to do more content like this. I hope to start coming up with more inventions for chest boats. I just wanted to show you what I had so far. This is an easy way to make boats go in circles. If it's not completely clear, because we've got swamp water here, all you do is the same thing you would do for a water channel, only instead of doing one sign, you do two signs, like this. And so we've got a sign here and a sign here, and then we do it on both sides. And this should be able to lead you around. You should be able to pretty easily, all you need is one block of water in, that's flowing in order for the boat to move. And so you don't need very much to make sure that it keeps moving, and you won't have to worry about it getting stuck. See, there it is over there. So, yeah. Let, let me know what you think. Leave a comment in the video. If you have any other ideas, I might implement those. And have a good rest of your day. Play with this snapshot if you haven't. Bye.